Hello, Rick Comerick, Certified Financial Planner here, bringing you seven smart planning moves to consider in 2019. Number one, review your income or portfolio strategy. As you're reaching a milestone in your life, such as retirement or changing your circumstances, uh, you know, has your tolerance for risk changed? While the market sell-offs this year have been modest by historical standards, did you take it in stride or did you feel uneasy? If so, this might be the right time to reevaluate your approach. And one of my goals has always been to remove the emotional component from investment plan. Uh, you know that encourages investors to um, you know, do the right thing at the right time. So I'm here to help with that as well. Number two, rebalance your portfolio. Market performance so far this year has been good and US equities have been leading the pack and outperforming the uh, safer investments. And so it might be time to trim back on those or, or take some income from those accounts or it might be good to, to let those accounts continue to grow. It depends on a case-by-case -case basis. The important thing here is to consider rebalancing your portfolio. Take stocks of changes in your life. Review insurance and beneficiaries. You know, this is a perennial uh, planning move that you can do at any, any time, and that's to make sure that your beneficiaries are up to date. Number four is mind your RMDs. This is a critical one as you attain the age of 70 and a half, in regards to retirement accounts, the IRS mandates that you take distributions at that point. And so there's all these rules around that. I'm not gonna go into, we could do a whole show just on that, uh, but it's important to make sure that it gets taken care of so you're not subject to any of the nasty penalties that they hit you with if you don't do it. Number five, contribute to a Roth or a traditional IRA. You know, anytime you can add to your retirement savings is pretty much a good thing. A Roth IRA, you're able to do that on a um, tax after tax basis. However, the accounts remain tax free from that point forward. And of course, traditional IRAs, well, you may get the tax deduction for those. The amount you can contribute uh, may be uh, 6,000 or 7,000 if you're 50 or older. So it's a nice little increase there for 2019. You have until April 15th of 2020 in order to get credit on your 2019 uh, income tax year. Number six, contribute to college savings. There's a couple of options here. There's the Coverdale savings account and then also the 529 plans. Uh, if you have some money that you can save for a child or grandchild's college, uh, those are two options that you can use for that. And then finally, number seven, do your charitable giving. It could be with cash, stocks, bonds, uh, financial investments, or one of my favorites is use your IRA to do your charitable giving. If you're subject to the RMD rules that we discussed earlier, you can use some or all of your RMD uh, in order to go to charity, and that will satisfy your RMD and the charitable uh, institution will get a gift, of course, and nobody will owe taxes because you won't owe tax on that money and the charity won't owe tax on that money. Another idea to consider is a donor advised fund. If you want to learn more about that, feel free to reach out to me anytime and we can discuss that, your investments, your insurance, and your financial retirement planning.